Hey guys, it's finally here. I'm Andrew with Autel Robotics, and today we're going to update the firmware on our X-Star Series drone to version 2.0. So here's what's new. The aircraft no longer needs to warm up, allowing for a faster setup. And new firmware means no more compass calibration. The aircraft will only prompt you occasionally when a compass calibration is needed. Overall performance adjustments improve shorter braking distance, increased acceleration, and increased descent speed. Dynamic return to home allows for more control when activated. The Starpoint positioning system has increased range and accuracy and new controls allow you to adjust the sensitivity of the yaw rotation. To perform this update, you'll need your aircraft, controller, a computer, a micro SD card, and I'd recommend a card reader. You'll be able to see the progress of your update on your remote controller's LCD screen, so you won't need your mobile device. Let's get started by removing the micro SD card from the gimbal. Plug the card into your card reader and connect the reader to your computer. Now, let's head over to autelrobotics.com. Click Support, and then choose Downloads. Scroll down, and click the Download Here button for the XStar model that corresponds with what you have. Now that you've downloaded the file, go ahead and extract the contents to your desktop. Firmware updates come in the form of a bin file. This is a binary file that contains all of the updates for your XStar or XStar Premium. Now that you've downloaded the firmware file, You'll copy the file from the computer to the micro SD card. Paste the bin file into the root folder of the card. This means that the file should just be on the card with no folders enclosing it. You will see a folder named DCIM. This folder can stay there as long as the bin file does not go inside of it. Now that the firmware update is copied onto the micro SD card, let's safely eject the card from your computer. To do this on a Mac, Right click on the drive and choose eject. If you're using a PC, click on the USB icon on your toolbar and choose safely eject. Now remove the micro SD card from the reader and insert it back into the XStar. Now you'll need to power on the remote controller and then the aircraft. On your controller's LCD screen, you'll see the firmware update automatically start within 30 seconds. This firmware update can take up to 30 minutes to complete and you can track the progress of each component from that LCD screen on the remote controller. Once the update is completed, you can review a checklist of all the updates. A check mark will indicate a successful update and an X will indicate that a component failed. If you encounter a failed update, you can repeat the process. If all the components successfully update, power off the XStar and the remote controller. If you have multiple batteries, You'll need to repeat this process for each battery. Head over to our other video, Updating the Batteries Firmware, to learn more about the battery changes and how to update the firmware for each battery. 